anybody that's short, a reminder, big, big pivot for us in our system is 93.75. Can go to any low on a day like today. But if you are understanding what I'm saying to you, this is a good play, especially, and, and the reason for day trading versus position or swing traders is because day traders are always the weak hands. They don't have a cushion of profits to use. And, and a lot of them are left at the altar. They want the convenient uh, trade back here. I said you must be aggressive if you're playing. If we get the push up, then, then, then we're messed up. But this 10-minute chart was a beauty. I said the entry zone should be back at that 12 area. And traders that don't have a sense of timing and, and use charts like these I always miss those type of ideas. They're they're looking at different things that may work for them, but not for me certainly. So I like this 10-minute chart. If you look back at a 30-minute chart, you can see it in play. This is the umbrella trade, clearly. Seek was uh, all over this this morning. He said this is an umbrella trade on the 60. Come on. Who wants to buy that? And reminder, we've got that gap in the mid-80s. Uh, we're going there before we're done. Whether we get it today, tomorrow, next day, that's where we're headed. It's options expiration. And my belief is we will crack this 93.75 pivot. You know, we're, we're paying for the sins of, of this great big run, not just from this year, but for four years. I have posted to this room and to um, Twitter even, those people out there, that Kevin Haggerty, he talked about the third week in June. This guy is as good as it gets. Nobody reads that stuff. Everybody's got their own little system to try and invent. Why, why not learn from somebody like this who is an expert, who's done this stuff? He said in a, in a lesser time frame in August. So I believe the first part of this leg, we're, we're going to go get and test that 85 zone before we're done, no doubt. And, you know, you really have to understand we've come a long way since yesterday, but who wants to buy? So even though targets are achieved, I don't want to buy. And that, that always makes it hard. Uh, for me, I was just lucky. I, got, I played a little bit last night and then got up and, and got up at the right time, and so it was easy. I just was reading the market correctly. But there is a difference between a swing trader um, and uh, a day trader. And a swing trader is not going to let this go yesterday. They're going to say, hey, come on. <laughs> you know, I got what I wanted. And they're not taking this back. We're going to go down and we're going to test 16.06. We're going to try to break that, and if we can, then go sub 1600. So you've got the spreadsheets. You know the work. Uh, all I can say is the more you, you see this stuff in action, the more you will believe it. Great trade. Any, anybody got this? And it will take some time now, I think, probably because we're uh, <clears throat> a major pivot we're, we're trying to test right now. And if we break the 92, um, then that will open up the door to anything today. You know, who knows where we go? But, but keep an eye over here. You know, we're we're so far overdone; it's ridiculous. So Zeke, I'm going to say uh, to everybody, Zeke made an outstanding call yesterday when he said the bots are going to sell the news, and we're and we're heading down, and we're going to be testing uh, into the low to mid 90s. That, that was one heck of a call. And, and you're just not going to do better than, than guys like Zeke who have been around the block for 25 years or so and know how the markets work. Great call. And anybody that's got puts, if you bought puts yesterday, you know, the weeklies, good time to be cashing out some of those. And if you didn't, a reminder, Zeke is going to, you know, do a webinar uh, for us to help us out with that. Well done, guys. What a team. Um, you can buy if you want. Uh, I don't have any interest in buying today. Had a great day already, and um, 
maybe time for that third cup of coffee, whatever. Any anybody that is not collected profits by that ninety three seventy five, um, have a plan for defense. And always try to keep a trailer on a day like today. Meaning if you scale out, let's let's say you played big and you scaled out, you want to re enter, go re enter small. And when when the bounce stalls, try to get back in. We've had a very good morning. Don't mess up now by just trying to be too aggressive. All, all our targets have been hit for the day.